more problems again. <laughs> this PVC door, the hinges are creaking, making a bit of a Anyway, creaking away. So I've had a look at it to see if I can just lube it or something like that. Well, it turns out that one of the hinges, the middle one down here, has broken. So job on today was to try and replace the broken hinge. The only trouble is I've looked to try and get hold of a hinge. I ordered one off the internet because there's absolutely loads and loads of different sizes. So I measured it as best I could, ordered it. Well, when it came, it was the wrong one. Yeah. It's very similar, but just not quite right. And the holes have all got to line up, so it's really particular to get this right. Decided, rather than faffing about, I'm going to retrofit the new style of hinge to the door. Right, so here we go. This is what we're, this is what we're up against. This is the, this is the hinge that has come off of the original door. So basically what you've got there is one broken back plate. So the end has snapped off it. Put that out of there, look. That's the original, that's the original back plate. And that has just snapped clean off of there, which has obviously loaded up all the other hinges and created them there. Every time you open it, they're, 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 they're tweaking because they've got so much weight on them. So the problem that we have, you take measurements off of these old hinges. So this is this is the whole arrangement. You can see there's so many measurements on here. You've got the distance between there and there, there and there. You've got the, the offset of the hinge to the door, um, the depth. So I measured it up, sent it off, and this is what they sent me. Looks very similar, doesn't it? But it's miles off when you actually marry the two up um it's just a completely different it doesn't look a lot but it is it's it's different and it doesn't fit and also the size of that back plate is when i stick the back plate on there you can actually see that they are different lengths as well so a real mismatch so i've been down the window shop well i've been down the local window manufacturers and had a had a chat with them and they got a few different designs of this. None of them fitted the hinge that I've got there. So nothing was the same. They're saying there's so many different styles over the years. What they suggested was to completely upgrade to the new style flag hinge. So this little chappy here. Now this feels magic. It feels so much more beefier, much more well made. Uh, really, really good quality. So um, what I've done is bought three of them. So one, two, three, and we're going to retrofit these to the door. Now then, first thing we've got to do is when you get these new hinges, because um, mine are opening from the inside rather than the outside, they're all the wrong hand. So we need to just, we need to just change the hand over. So as you can see, that's like that at the minute because they've got to go that way up because of this adjustment at the bottom. The, the door has to sit that way up. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Mine is opening the other way. So we need to whip that off the top, turn it over and put it back on the other side like that. So now it's the right side for us opening the door. These new flag hinges are so much more adjustable. We can adjust these in every direction, unlike the old ones. On the old one there, there's no, well, the only up and down height adjustment you've got is within the screws on the on the bracket there, which is not very good. Um, this new one here, you've got, um, get the right way around. You've got an adjuster to move the door in and out on that bracket there. You've also got on the bottom here a height adjuster for this hinge here to this bracket here to move this up and down so when we're putting it in to start with we need about five millimeters between the top there so this is this is smack bang in the middle of its adjustment so that we can get the door height right 
let's go to the door and see if we can get this all to line up and fit in. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, but we'll give it a go and look for it. It's going to save me buying a new door because that's basically was the other solution. They said if, it, if you can't get a hinge to fit, you've got to replace your door, which seems a bit drastic because I know these doors are only about six years old. So, um, yeah, just the job in it. Right, so the first thing we've got to do is get this base plate lined up. So that's basically what we're aiming for. Now we've got existing holes in the door. Um, we've got two two lugs on here that need to go through that just that support it. Um, we just need to try and get this in the middle of where the old holes were, really. So I've just it's really close. It's really close on them two there. So I'm just going to make that one slightly bigger. And then that will just bang straight in there. So let's have a quick. This is one out of the other one. Um, just to use as a template. Just as you can see, look, it's there. So it's that way up. And we're gonna aim for that one and that one. So I just need to go, just slightly, slightly elongate that bottom hole to get that in. So these are four millimeter drill bits. So we'll just do that top one to start with. For the bottom one, just like that slightly. Just slightly elongated on that, and let's see if that will go in now. It's close. Bingo, look, there we go. So that's that's in there nicely. We've got three three screws to go through there. Now these are the original, these are the original screws, and as you can see they've got self-tapping heads on them, which is good news. So it should find its own way. It should find its own way into the door frame. We'll get that in the centre. One. Two. And then the last one. Go in the bottom there. Great. That's in nice and tight that. Now we've got a new hinge there, we can slide that down onto the bracket. And then you can see already, look, that's going to be really nice. Oh, it looks, it looks brand spanking new, look, and that's going to be attached to that. Now we just need to get this tapped down a little bit to make sure it's we've got some adjustment on it. Um, so this is the this is the little clamp that goes underneath at the back there. So we drop that in under there, and then we can do that do that up a tad. So now that's in place. We've got a trusty rubber mallet there. I'll just tap that down on that. There we go. That's down nice and tight on that hinge. This is the five millimeter. On the bottom there and we can just whiz that up so when you're doing these up you just keep on going until you hear a click and that's the little plug locating at the back and then the adjuster is able to push the bracket up and down so the easiest way to do this is when this is through when this is through here 
you can see the prongs are coming out and on that on that side there all three prongs are at the back of the hinge so that's an exact marker we need it to be five millimeters this way like that so what we'll do is mark out three points one point there one point there and one point there all we need to do now is move that out of the way so we're using a square so what we're looking at is the distance between the distance from the back of that to the center of the pin which is it's about eight millimeters so on each one of these we just need to move that dot eight millimeters in so that one is to there that one is to there and that one is to there all right then so we need three more holes it's in okay so now all we need to do is just put four screws through there so I'm going too long too short Now with this, we might not be able to get the door open now because it's going to be swinging at a different angle, but we can release this now because we know that's all in line. So I can whiz this one out again now and then we can do the next one. to the second one. So we release the two Allen keys there to make the pins nice and loose. Oops. loads off the, these pins will just pop out one two okay Oh, 
actually I didn't need to, that's that old bit of hinge out of the way there. But now we can close it again. Okay, so now that's in the locked position. So that's back in and in the locked position, it's all square in the frame again. So now I can proceed to take that top bracket off and put the new hinge on the top as well. So before I go any further with the top one, I'm going to re-screw this middle one back in so we know that it's all back in line again. So let's get this one in where it was because we know that was absolutely spot on. Right, I'll just pop two in there for now. So we know that's, that's absolutely pucker where it was before. Okay, let's whip them three out of there. One, two, three, and that's that old hinge off there. them up. Is three point one, two, and three just there. Where's that away? Eight millimeters in. Let's drill those new holes. So the only one left now is the bottom one. So what we can do is now whip these two pins out of here. Whip the pins out holding the bottom of the door. So then that should, the bottom one's out where it's dropped out. So now I should be able to open this door with a bit of luck. Oh, oh look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so now we can take the rest of the bottom hinge away and put the new hinge on the bottom. The last one to replace. Get the old hinge out of the way. That's that one out of the way lot. Beautiful, get rid of that. Moment of truth, will the door open? More importantly, will it close? Let's get the carpet out of the way. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. And we haven't done any adjustments on that at all. That's just gone on spot on where it came off. All I'm going to do is just nip these under uh, adjustments slightly, just make sure they're up tight. Oh, so they've got no. That's one. So, it's beautiful. We get these little nice little caps to put in the top there. So just push those in. That's that. Now there's a knack to getting these caps in. Because what it does, it actually locks in the pin so the door can't be lifted. So what you do is you push it in like that and then you just tap it across like that and then you do the two screws up in the back. Like so. Oh good. Well it weren't too bad a job that was it? it tried worse. Um, them little hinges were a bit tricky to put the caps on. Took a while to figure out to slide that piece across but once we got that it was all good. Uh, if that's been of any use to you uh, drop me a comment. There's a couple of little holes I'm just going to put some little white caps in those in those little holes um, that, that, that you can see on the, where the old hinges were. Um, yeah like subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you.